Department of Transport. See if they can give me a free bus ticket. They've got different things. They're not as secure, secure as the home office, for the likes of things. They don't have those little sort of vestibule sort of rotating doors. Uh, they have these sort of partitioned. You might have realised I can pretty much stay on public, but keep half of the doors open. Hello. Face like thunder. Uh, hope he's not a public servant. That's how he reacts to a polite greeting from a member of the public. I've got disability access here. It's good to see they're all inclusive. Although, that, there's a sign on the other side of the door blocking the path. So you get as far as getting the door open, if you happen to be in a wheelchair or needed assistance opening the door. Um, but then, be blocked off by some form of sign. Really get different security here as well. They're not, not part of that last group that was at the home office. Well, not very interesting. Let's see who's in here. There's a couple of guys looking over from this side. Let's see who these people are. Uh, she got a wave. Got a wave? No? <laughs> I got a nod in the head, I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. They're a bit unsure. You know, but as I say, I come in peace. Wanna come out and have a chat? We'll have a chat. Very nice inside. I like that clock on the wall. It looks like a bicycle wheel. It is as well. It's a clock made out of a bicycle wheel. Oh, well, the Department of Transport and all that. I suppose it looks better than a, a, a rubber tyre strapped to the wall. Well, it's mighty security to have here. Uh, mighty or mighty not? <laughs> not so mighty in his glass house. Yeah, the Department of Transport are pretty much doing what you'd expect. Hello! Again, like, I don't know what it is with these public servants. They seem very, very miserable coming in at a lot. Oh, it's a beautiful place to work, you know, it's the heart, heartbeat of London. Can you see through this? Yeah, we... I did tell the security guy when he was across the road that you were next. Hello. How you doing, you right? How you doing, you alright? Yeah, good. Copy that. Awesome. Are you, you detailed it, sir? No. Are you not, no? No, no. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you would be. Nah, not me. DJ Audits. I'm not of that caliber yet. Not at this moment in time. But I am a fan of his work. He does a great job, like many of the other guys. Hello. Look at how they treat members of the public. Well, I've been perfectly polite saying hello and he looks at me like I'm something stuck at the bottom of his shoe. What a disgrace. If you don't like the job, mate, get out. Go somewhere else. Try the private sector. You'll probably make more money. Jesus, that's not the first time. Just a man with a camera, I'm being perfectly polite. I'm saying hello, I'm waving. He grills at me like that. Not a very nice man. Public servants need to learn how to interact with members of the public, I think. We're we'll doing some one to one training, some life coaching. Hello. <laughs> Shaking her head. At least it was some form of interaction. Yeah, Department of Transport. Yeah, not much going on. I'm going to visit a, a police station this afternoon. People complaining, not too happy. But what are you going to do? Hello. 
No, more public servants that don't know how to interact with polite members of the public. Unacceptable, in my opinion. Hello. You alright? See, that's how it's done, guys. You know, you say hello, you get hello back. Very polite. Uh, some of these other people. Sorry, guys. It's a very impressive beard and moustache, sir. Thank you. Let's see, got a bit of view of these fine gentlemen. Let's see, that way. Yeah! Oh, there's. <laughs> like I'm bothered. <laughs> what a strange man. <laughs> Oh my days! <laughs> so that was a guy that came out earlier that was that pretty much looked at me as if I was a bit of doo doo stuck on his shoe shoe. Um, <laughs> he just came up and stuck his phone in my face and took my picture. But for the record, I'm wearing sunglasses and a mask. I put my thumb up and despite having the mask on, I put the biggest smile on my face possible. Because you know what? I totally support his decision to take my photo. I'm out in public. Crack on mate, do your thing. I'm not here to cause any dramas for you. You want to take my picture. There's plenty of CCTV about, so no doubt I've been well documented on them. You know? Hello. You look at, at my mouth, do I look like a green alien or something? Like something that's come out from out of space. Look at me like I'm, I've fallen from the stars, like I'm something I've never seen before. I'm just a guy with a camera. Jeez. She gonna who's got his phone? I'm just gonna take my picture. Yeah, just get your badge in there. Got your ID. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. Say they want to take my picture, you can take it all day long. I am wearing glasses and a mask, so there's not much to see in terms of a headshot. No. You won't see me in the cover of Vogue anything soon. Hello? No, oh, I won't. Don't tell me what to do. Sorry? Don't tell me what to do. I'm in public land. Don't no, ever, don't no, tell no, me. No, no, but don't film me. No, yeah. you're on public. I'll do what no, I want. No, 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 no don't try and no violate right my rights. Me. I'm on public. I have every right. Don't what? tell me what to do. Yes, I've been perfectly don't nice to your security. To do not tell me what to do, sir. Go about your business. That man just came out of nowhere, closing the space, trying to tell me what I can and can't do in a public place. As I says to you guys, I'll be perfectly polite to anyone, but as soon as you try and infringe on my rights, that is a line I will not allow someone to cross without challenge, and that man tried to cross that line, so I challenged him. So he can go about his business, and I'll go about mine, continuing to film in public. You will not walk up to me and tell me what, you, what I can and can't do when it's within the confines of the law. Ignorant fool. So we've got a friend still taking my picture. Hello. But we won't try and tell them all we're the same brush. I'll try and be polite to everyone that I speak to until, as I say, they try and cross out. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? What are you filming? Because I want to. I'm filming the building. I'm filming, yeah, all the staff coming in and out, filming what? their IDs on the lanyards. Why? Yeah, just because I feel like it. That's how I spend my free time. Eh? That's how I spend my free time. That's how you spend your free yeah. time? Yeah. What do you get out of it though? Oh, just enjoyment, seeing people's reactions. I try and be polite. Yeah. I try and have very civilised conversations like we're having. Yes. Some people just yeah. don't want to do that straight away. They just yeah. go straight in, yeah. don't want to have a civilised conversation. Become very. Well, I'm in public. I'm certainly within my rights to do what I'm doing. So, I, it's not understandable as far as I'm concerned. Okay. All right. Then. I wish you all the best. Yeah, you have a great day. It was lovely talking to you. Oh, a lovely lady. You know that's how it's done. Look, jeez. Oh. oh. Very refreshing when you have a conversation like that. Certainly after you have that numpty that came out trying to get in my face, telling me what I can and can't do. I look forward to him coming back because I shall make, I think this looks like it's the only entrance and exit, so I'm going to make a point, oh here he's here, here is the man here,
This is my friend. I'm out in public. Don't approach me. Step back. Do not approach me. Step back. Be prepared. I will not delete anything. Step back. Don't approach me like that. Who are you, you vile man? Try and tell me what to do. Yeah, I swear. That's very appropriate. Absolute buffoon. Trying to intimidate me, approach me in that manner. Who do you think he is? That's crazy that. Before he came out, I had a very civilised conversation with one of his colleagues. And then he came out, tried to get in my face. He's went away. As he's coming back, I've had another pleasant conversation with one of his colleagues. And he's tried to get in my face again.